Welcome, this is Jeff from the Watkins Tree Farm. How are you guys? Well, as you guys can see, we got our rock delivered and the kids are playing in it right now. I'm going to try to get everything around the house finished and rocked and uh, hopefully I have a little bit of rock left over. I'm sure I will. I just wanted to say a few things to my subscribers. Uh, first of all, thank you for subscribing to the channel and second, for those that subscribe to some of my DIY projects, I haven't forgot about you guys. Uh, the winter's tough doing DIY projects outside, plus my sheds aren't heated. Uh, here in the last few days, I've looked at the uh, bridge to see if I could do something on the bridge. I have a plan of attack and uh, hopefully here in the next few weeks we have another few nice days like we do now and I can... Uh, start working on the uh, bridge, the walking bridge, and do a couple DIY projects for you guys. Yes, I've done a few tractor videos, and yes, my tractor's a new toy, but it, it works out for the winter, and uh, doing these videos uh, just uh, helps. So, right now I'm gonna try to get the rock around the drive, get it spread out smooth, and try to get something uh, that looks nice. Well, right here, I lowered the scarifiers down to break up the rock. I felt like right here in front of the house was pretty, I guess if you will, packed down. I saw in a couple other videos on YouTube where people have mentioned that they've never used the scarifiers. And I haven't tried it without them. But to me, it feels like this ground is just packed so tight that... I would really have to dig that back blade in pretty hard to get anything uh, stirred up. I might try it in the future. What do you guys think of the uh, second video showing the detail on the box blade? I think that's a kind of a neat little thing. I saw it on another video and I thought I'd try it on this one. Now we've lived here seven years now and this drive has only been worked once in these seven years. I believe two, two and a half years ago when we did the garage, we ordered a truckload of rock and had it spread around the drive right here for the new driveway. Other than that, this drive has not been touched. So having this tractor helps so much to be able to have the peace of mind of just going out there and fixing what needs fixing. Right here I am taking the rock that I stirred up from having the scar fires down and I'm trying to spread it out. As you can see I have a lot of rock built up by the drive so I am needing to pull it back away from the drive. So we got the load of rock and obviously Bo doesn't like people at his place intruding on his ground. This is one inch washed rock. It's a little more expensive than the base rock. So 
what'd you guys think of those camera angles? Something new? Tell me what you thought in the comments below. Well, I got the ground, or if you will, the drive worked. I got the existing rocks up to the surface. I smoothed them out. And then now I'm going to dig into this pile of rock that was delivered the other day and uh, put it on the drive and spread it out. I've seen it done a couple ways. I could either put the rock down and spread it with the box blade or put it in that front loader and spread it out and then the box blade. This is all new to me, so I'm gonna try it and figure it out. But I'm gonna take you guys along and if anywhere in this you see something that uh, I could do different, leave a comment below. Once again, thank you guys for uh, following along and uh, being a part of this journey. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Uh, it's free and uh, it helps us out. Well, let's get this rock laid down on the ground. It's amazing you put a load of rock down and the kids are on it in minutes. I think the kids played on that load of rock all evening last night. Like I just said, here at the beginning I'm trying to dump a load of rock down and then spread it out. I quickly figure out that this is not the best way. Still trying to figure out the three point. It's really touchy. Sometimes I bring it up too much, sometimes I don't bring it up enough. So it's still, still learning. If you look at that top left view, I've got too much rock in there. You can see I'm trying to lift it out of there, but I pulled too much rock and I left a bare spot right there. Live and learn. If you follow us on Facebook, I posted a video of my son running the tractor spreading rock out. Just go on Facebook and search Watkins Tree Farm and you'll find our Facebook page there. And I put updates of the Christmas tree farm, videos, pictures, and so go check it out. I'm still trying to figure out how to drag the bucket. I'm not consistent enough with it. That's why I brought the box blade back out here. I'm also staying away from the concrete. I really don't want to chunk a piece of concrete out. That's why I brought the rake out and raked the rock up next to the concrete pad. Still learning at this also. I'm not very consistent, but I am getting better. <music> On the 
I'm still learning to do this also. This is this takes a lot a lot of practice to get this right. I'm getting better. Finally, I'm ending right here in front of the back door. There was a pretty good base here, so I spread a little bit of rock out. And I think it turned out well. If you guys stay tuned till at the very end, I kind of do a uh, video of the final product. So stay tuned to the end and you can see what the final product looks like. Well guys, I think that turned out well. The drive looks uh, great. I think it looks great. You tell me what you think below. I think it went well. The uh, tractor went well. I'm learning on the box blade and the loader. As you guys saw, I tried a couple different ways, but ultimately I believe filling the loader up, sprinkling the rock down, and then coming back with the box blade and spreading it out works the best and it's the most efficient. Tell me what you guys think down below. I'll probably do a uh, box blade review, but I really didn't want to do one since I hadn't used one before. So I'll do that in the future and then probably I'll do the tractor and the loader review. And then obviously in the spring when I get the uh, mower out, I'll do a mower review. But right now, we got the drive uh, around the house done anyway. I still got to work out by the road. That's going to be a big project and uh, we'll do that along the way also. I thank you guys for uh, watching. If this is something you like, hit that like button. It tells YouTube that uh, this is a good video and to promote it. I also ask for your subscription. Uh, subscribe to the channel, follow us along as uh, we get this Watkins tree farm going. So I thank you guys, you take care, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.